I think it's fair to say that the overall purpose of science is to help us understand the natural world and how the natural world works. Ultimately, science is a process of asking questions about nature and what the processes are that exist in nature and how they explain the events that happen in the world around us every day. Well, there are a lot of different ways of knowing, and there are a lot of different things that human beings want to know about. But if you want to understand about the natural world, your best way of going, at about, going about it is to use the methods of science. The methods of science are not necessarily unique. They're actually the methods of any kind of critical thinking. You would probably use them in history, or you might use them in some other areas where, where testing of ideas is very important. But to me, the thing that makes science really useful and, and a really, really good way of understanding the natural world is that we test our explanations against the natural world. And if our explanations don't hold up when we test them, then we abandon them. And we only provisionally keep them if they do match, the, match reality. Um, we tinker with them some more, we test them again, and we eventually come up with a pretty good way of understanding whatever that phenomenon was. Now, science is really an excellent way of, of understanding the natural world. Nobel, Nobel Prize, Prizes are waiting for people who overthrow well-established scientific positions. That's the open-ended nature of science, that there are no dogmatically held uh, conclusions which aren't uh, potentially falsifiable. That's one thing that makes science interesting. If a scientist makes a mistake, somebody uh, in some other place will try to replicate it and not be able to take cold fusion. That was an example where people claimed something had happened and scientists around the world tried to replicate it and they couldn't. So on a small scale, science corrects itself. And on a big scale, it corrects itself, although the big scale may take longer. So one of the things that uh, makes me proud to be a scientist is that we see effects. This is especially true in geology, where we can't go back in time and watch it happen. We see effects, and then we use our mind to try to reason out what the causes were. And we get it wrong sometimes, as with continental drift, but eventually we get it right. So science goes through kind of a zigzag, up-down path, but there's a general upward slope, and we know more and more, and we get closer and closer to the way things really are. Um, there are charlatans in science, they're crooks, falsifiers, but they're found out. 